guys, so some of you all have been asking for an update video on my tongue piercing. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I removed it a little over a year ago now, and a lot of you guys over the last year or so have been asking for an update video, and I didn't really have a lot to say, but I figured since we're you know a little past the one year mark now, I would go ahead and make an informational video on scarring and uh, you know whether or not the piercing hole was healed and all that sort of stuff. So I will just go ahead and start with the fact that I do believe that the piercing is still open. I believe I could still get jewelry in it if I wanted. It's probably shrunk down now to like an 18 or 20 gauge. I don't even know. It was pierced at a 14 gauge. So if I did decide to put jewelry back in it, I'd definitely have to stretch it back up to 14 gauge. But as far as I know, there is still a hole there that is slightly open. It probably always will be, and I really don't care. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I don't care about piercing scars. And um, actually some of them I think are kind of cool. So really doesn't bother me at all. Um, but I will show you, there's a little bit of scarring on the bottom. I really can't tell anything much that there is on the top. Um, so I'm just gonna have to like, stick my tongue out, so excuse that, but so here's the top of the piercing. So if you can tell, there really isn't anything there. If you look super, super close, like I can kind of tell where there's still a little bit of a hole, but like honestly, I can't really see anything on the top. On the bottom though, there is like a bump. It looks kind of like a little white bump. I think it's just scar tissue. It doesn't bother me or affect me in any way. I don't feel it or anything like that, but it is there. Like if I run my finger over it, I can feel it, but like I don't feel it when my tongue's just like normally laying in my mouth. So here is the scar on the bottom. So if you can kind of see that like, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, it's like hard to show you my tongue and dog at the same time. But yeah, there is like a little bit of a bump on the bottom. Uh, but I haven't really noticed anything other than that. No trauma to the tongue or anything. Um, I don't think I actually ever chipped my teeth when I had the piercing. So um, there haven't been any, you know, repercussions of me taking it out or anything crazy like that. Uh, I do miss it sometimes just because I really liked the way it looked. And I was the worst about playing with it. So sometimes, like, even though I've had it out for, like, over a year, sometimes I'll still go to, like, run, you know, like, I'll try to, like, run the jewelry, like, over my teeth or my lips or something or I'll, like, go to like catch the ball like where it would, it would rest on the top I would like catch it between my lips or my teeth or whatever and play with it and so sometimes I still go to do that and sometimes I still actually think it's in my mouth like I can almost feel it like how it would sit like on the roof of my mouth I guess you might say so yeah sometimes I kind of miss it and you know if I really get to missing it I'll just put jewelry back in it it's not a big deal I used to kind of take it back in and out like I would go back and forth with like you know taking it out and putting it back in and stuff like that and then I finally just decided like a little over a year ago I was like okay I'm done with it for good um but yeah there's really been no serious scarring I mean if you really were worried about the integrity of your tongue you probably wouldn't get this piercing to begin with but it is something to be aware of that I do have some scarring on the bottom like I said nothing serious nothing that I really notice or feel on a daily basis but it is there and also like I said I can see a little bit on the top just like a tiny tiny bit of an indent but nothing that like worries me or anything like that. The only weird thing I would say that I've noticed since I took the piercing out is that sometimes I get like other little white bumps on the bottom of my tongue like sort of around that scar tissue and it's just like a little like you know if you were to bite your tongue and you have like an infected taste but I've noticed that kind of around like the bottom of my tongue but I don't know if that's coincidental with taking out the piercing or if it's just like maybe I bit the bottom of my tongue. I don't know it's happened like three or four times over the last year and like I don't really know what it is. Um, so I don't know if it's anything to do with the piercing or not, but it's just like a little like infected taste bud type of thing that like will happen like on the bottom of my tongue, but I don't know if that's anything to do with taking it out or not. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. I think most people were just asking about like scarring and whether I missed it, like miss having it and whether or not I could still get jewelry in it. So I think that's all the main questions that I had. Sorry, this is a super quick video, but I've really noticed an influx in my inbox lately of questions about my tongue piercing for some reason. So I just thought I'd go ahead and address it in a video so that all of you guys have the answers to those questions. Um, and I do have, you know, obviously a whole video as to why I took the piercing out, but the main reason I took it out is just because I was tired of it and I kind of felt like I was moving to um, points in my career where I needed to be more, like I needed to present more professionally and I was tired of having to take the piercing out all the time or like talk with my teeth closed because I felt like it wasn't, just like for the career path I'm on, I felt like it wasn't the most professional to have a tongue piercing. Um, that's not me judging any of you that have tongue piercings still. Like I said, I do sometimes still miss mine. Um, it's just how I personally felt. I was just kind of tired of dealing with it. So um, yeah, but hope you guys are having a great day as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.